I can actually see them moving around by the fucking corner where the textures don't meet up. Ah, uh, let me take a moment. All right, I'm, I'm probably good. I'm probably good. Motherfucker. Really? Now you got the fucking conductor's cabin coming after me? First the boiler, now the conductor's cabin. Okay, I'm done. I got an achievement. Yeah, first the boiler, then safe haven. Ooh. I want to trust you. I really do. I needed a key for the door. Motherfuckers. Windmill bits. Oh, well, yeah. Ah, key. Ah, key. Ah, key. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah trust me. There, there's nothing worse than that. Especially, but I do enjoy my hobbies. I, I've never claimed not to be a nerd. Uh, or a dork, or a geek, or, oh, it's a television, but flare gun ammo. Fuck yeah. I need any type of ammo right now. I'm, oh god. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. Mm -hmm. I feel ill. I yeah. managed to make my way downstairs. Yeah. Totally. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very oh, hard Thomas to focus, Zane. but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He mm. writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of right, well. of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through. Looks like uh, uh, Alan went crazy at some point. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over mm. by a dark presence. About growing scared. Of yeah, the that happens. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above. It where is. Some love probably. Yeah, presence please. lurks. I'll I love crawl crap. back upstairs. I'll borrow these things for my story. They ring true. They fit. Yeah. All right. I li you know I like H. P. Lovecraft's work. Good author. Appreciate the man. Hunting rifle. Aw, but I want my. I like the shoddy. I don't want to. I'm gonna have to. It's. It's got ammo. I don't really have a choice, do I? But, um... Love H.P. Lovecraft work, but... The man could drone something fierce. I mean... And he never used... If he could... And if there was one word... A simple word that could describe something... Or three really fucking complex words that could describe something... He would use the three fucking complex words. Like, all right, let's go with his favorite word, one you hear a lot. Eldritch. All right, Eldritch. Sounds like it means something like, you know, elder or, you know, I don't know, ancient or something like that. What it literally means is odd. You know, weird. C peculiar. You know, bloody fucking peculiar is what it meant. But Eldritch. And that's okay. I like strange words, especially rare ones, because I'm weird. What the hell? The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get to it. I can get back to that. If there's shotgun ammo in here. No, but there's flare gun ammo. All right. No, I'm going to stick with the hunting rifle. It's got, well, actually, no, it doesn't have the most ammo. But it'll probably kill the most. But, uh, you see, Bedrakian, that's another one. Uh, that means frog-like. You know, anything that looks like a frog. Like, um, the way that Dolores Umbridge was described in the Harry Potter books. She was supposed to appear very Batrachian. Birds. Die, birds. Ah, oh, damn it. They're gonna fucking regroup and attack me, I know it. That's what they do. They fucking regroup and attack me because they're asshats. Man. I might as well wait for them to fucking come right at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Come at me. I'm not afraid, bro. Alright, maybe I am. I could just be a little bit afraid of the birds. It was a good Alfred Hitchcock movie. I mean, it was creepy. 
They're gonna totally dive bomb me the second I come up on this, aren't they? Oh, fuck. I made it. Fuck you, birds. I survived. Oh, hi. Fuck yeah. Dead bird swarm. But I actually, um, in the past, yeah. Now, I like the other thing, of course, is that, um, because of the time period, the man was really just horribly fucking racist. Uh, you know, he, it, it's not even well hidden. I mean, well, they didn't try, or he didn't really try and hide it at the time either, because why would he? So, you know, it, it's one of those. You know, batteries don't work that way. Generally, a flashlight doesn't fill up partly when you put new batteries in it. Alright, I'm gonna have to run and hope the birds don't get me. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ugh. But yeah, it was just, uh, one of those things that, yes, everyone was racist at the time. His work is pretty racist, but you get over it. You basically go, ha ha, people were stupid then. You know, of course, he's racist against everyone. It's not, oh my god. It's not just, you know, you know, the standard minorities that people are, you know, racist against. It's, you know, the Irish. Well, actually, everyone was racist against the Irish for a very long time. That is something that apparently people tend to forget. Yeah. They were actually one of the most persecuted uh, minorities of the 20th century. Well, not 20th century, uh, I think the 18th, or 19th century. And that's another, yeah, of course, the 19th century is the 1800s. That's something people tend to forget because you look at them now and go, oh, they're white. Well, not according to white people. According to white people, they were Irish. No, oh, and uh, that did not qualify them as being normal people. It was actually very common to see signs places that said, you know, no dogs are Irish. Which they could do at the time, actually. You know. Now if you did that, you'd probably just end up getting hung by your toes. And it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, I'm, I'm uh, kind of okay with that. Being, you know, partly Irish. I mean, people forget. I mean, people forget things really easily. I, I'm actually su uh, it's surprised and usually disappointed by this. I don't like this cave. By um, tunnels go to Cauldron Lake. All right. Okay, I've lost my mind. Uh, but um, no, people forget things like. All right. The one that drove me insane uh, after the big earthquake that happened in Japan that, you know, damaged the reactor and killed dozens or you know, maybe even hundreds of people. I can't remember. Okay. This place looks like trouble. I'm convinced. You know, there were people all over the fucking place basically going this this is payback for Pearl Harbor even behind the closed doors and oh, curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic the hmm. local motel yeah, Nightingale could feel, feel the feel locals cool. eyes on him sure, the sure. unrelenting pressure of their judgment yeah well he I judge him too mind. for all he knew they could all be under Wake's spell already you do uh -huh. what you have to do to get the job done he took comfort from the bottle in his hand Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. But anyway, yeah, people going, you know, like, this is for, you know, fucking, uh, you know, er, this is for Pearl Harbor. Now, ah, oh, goddammit. Uh, I hope I don't have to, like, outrun a cave in. Oh, alright. But yeah, ah, oh, motherfucker. No, oh, yeah, I was, uh, Okay, well, let's review one thing. Your payback for Pearl Harbor thing happened when we bombed them twice. Alright, 
We killed way more people. We killed way more innocent civilians than they actually killed soldiers. The payback happened. Apparently this is something that people just forget instantly. I mean, it actually, I actually got into an argument with someone, I'm like, you know, alright, so you're justifying this as being some sort of, you know, payback from nature for this happening. What about this? Because they're like, no, we're not helping, uh, we shouldn't help anyone. I'm like, well, you can go fuck yourself, first of all. But, you know, did, did you forget that we actually were way more brutal? to uh, their civilians than they really were to ours. Or, you know, well, well, hell, we were made more brutal to their civilians than they were to our soldiers. Like, well, that's different. I'm like, all right. Okay, that's fine. Do you know why they did it? Well, you know, blah, 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 working with uh, the Nazis. Like, no, no, you don't, you misunderstand. They still dislike the U.S. because we drove a warship up to their capital to and told them you're going to trade with us in order to go on. or we'll blow it up. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. <laughs> yeah, I know. that's what we did. I can't remember the, was that Perry? I, anyway, or Commodore Perry? No, that's not it at all. But yeah, we, I guess that's, okay, this is going to be awkward. But yeah, we we drove a uh, a fucking navy up, to, or, you know, a fleet of warships up to their capital because they refused to trade with the U.S. They would only trade, I think, with Denmark and a few other countries. And we told them we would just kill them outright if they, you know, refused to trade with us. So they're the bad guys because okay. So, yeah, they're the bad guys.